Okay, so just on Sketch Farm, just to get in Sketch Farm into Mixamo and get the rigged. So, is this rigged? So, I'm assuming it's not rigged. So, uh, let's download the 3D models. Let's go to the FBX. I've previously downloaded this as a zip. So, next up, let's go to Mixamo. So, all good fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to uh, finally sort itself out. So I'm going to just try to drag the uh, the zip in. So this is basically just the zip FBX with the textures. Uh, the textures are usually embedded within the FBX, so it's probably going to have some issues with this. Let's just wait and see. So, without hope, I'm going to try to keep talking so that I don't have to edit this video. So, let's talk about how long it takes for an FBX to be imported into. Mix some more, and that's probably going to say kind of import model. Fingers crossed. So you know you, you have already if you've got the characters you've got uh, uh, you've got a big pile of um, of characters uh, pre-built characters. Uh, so they, they're expanding these all the time. So always check back in to see if they've got something that you can use in your game. Okay, interesting. So right. So that's one thing that it does quite frequently. It won't bring the textures in. Um, so I mean, we could take the uh, we could take the source and the textures into. What I'd probably do is take those into Maya. Uh, and then just uh, so if you load, if you import this FBX into Maya, you'll be able to then add the drag the textures onto it, uh, and then export from Maya um, as an FBX, just just an FBX with the textures embedded. So that's probably your best bet for bringing the textures in. You can also do it in um, in Unreal, so maybe worth having a look at that. So here we go as usual with the chin, wobbly hands today, elbows, happy days, knees, here we are, groin. Yeah, I, always, I always put this slightly further up because it tends to have issues um, finding the groin. Sounds a bit odd, but yeah. Uh, Okay, so again, I'm kind of hoping that I don't have to uh, edit this video, so I'm just going to wait and see if it works. I shall look out of the window as it does its magic. Okay, so that's what I mean. It's, uh, it's that one. Okay, so it's not, it's actually an air pose, it's not actually uh, a mirrored air pose. And it's not. Um, it's not symmetrical. So that's a bit of a pain, really. It's a nice free model, and thanks, David. But make sure it's symmetrical next time. Thanks, buddy. So we're going to have some issues here. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's going to be really weird. But let's go for it. He's going to have a wrist halfway up his arm, but you know. Such is life. Okay. So again, you know, I'm not sure how many polys this is. Uh, you can actually find out if we go back onto here. It should tell me 15,000, 30,000 triangles. Okay, so that's, that's a kind of normal in-game character size, which is quite good. Um, I kind of triple A on your... Uh, Three, uh, 360 on your um, PS4 would 
have something around that region. Okay, so yeah, good work. Uh, let's get him in. So having a bit of trouble with flipping him, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to affect it when we take it into Unreal, but... Uh, So yeah, I think when I take it in as a T pose, I might have to rotate it and bring it into. Um okay, I don't know why it came in lying down, but hey ho. So yeah, get it into T pose. So you just choose your T pose uh, animation, and then what we want to do is we want to download. We don't want to send it to Aero, thanks. Uh, this one with skin. So if you're downloading animations, you want to go without skin, but this one with skin. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what that does but um, so let's download that and then uh, we can then take that into Unreal um, which means that I'm probably going to have to edit this and make a new video okay